I am going to read this article. It is called, What are the Signs of Having a Demon? The website is ministeringdeliverance.com. Number one, compulsive sinning against your will. Addictions, uncontrollable anger, lust, urges to murder or commit suicide, etc. Number two, mental torment, fear, depression, irrational heaviness in the soul, hearing voices in the mind, hearing auditable voices that no one else hears, compulsive thoughts, insanity, mental illness, etc. Obsessive, irrational worry is almost always a demon. People who are scared stiff over the unpardonable sin are in need of counseling and likely deliverance. Number three, emotional problems. Unable to get close to other people, sensing rejection for no reason, irrational emotional breakdowns, etc. Often more than just casting out demons is needed in this category. Inner healing must also take place as well as tearing down strongholds. Number four, physical health problems, arthritis, cancer, HIV, and a host of other illnesses are almost always caused by evil spirits. If it cannot be easily cured, then it's almost always a spirit that is causing it. Number five, occult powers or abilities. Anyone, <clears throat> anyone who can tell a fortune, lift an object through levitation, break a solid oak board with their hand, etc., Using demonic powers needs a deliverance. Martial arts are known for using demonic powers to break boards, etc. Unnatural strength is a sign of demonic power, such as the man with the legion in the Bible. Number six, unnatural desires and feelings. Sexual attraction towards animals. Unnatural sexual desires, unusually strong attractions towards someone who is married, past lover, etc., can indicate soul ties and demonic bondage. Number seven, experiencing the demonic. Most often, not always, but usually, when people are visited by demons, hearing them, seeing them, etc., they are in need of a deliverance. Number eight, ancestors have similar problems. If both you and one or more of your ancestors have the same kind of problem, problems, then there may be a generational spirit at work. Obsessions, number nine. Driving interest in the occult demons and creatures of the dark, such as wolves, owls, etc., can indicate a demonic bondage. Obsession with death is almost a sure sign of demonic bondage. Number 10, compulsive behavior. Compulsive behavior such as cutting is a biblical symptom of demonic bondage. So this is the end of the article, which is called, What are the signs of having a demon? And the website is ministeringdeliverance.com. Okay, God bless.